Welcome back, everybody, to NXT Universe Mode, episode number seven. Uh, I believe it's seven. Uh, <laughs> I'm recording a lot of these back to back, so uh, we're opening up this episode with a one on one match, uh, continuing on uh, Velveteen Dream's battle against apparently the entire NXT UK division. I know Oni Lorcan isn't uh, from NXT UK, but he has a tag team partner named Danny Birch who's from NXT UK. Uh, and this is the closest I could get because I couldn't find a good uh, Danny Birch creative wrestler. So here we go. Oni Lorcan versus Velveteen Dream here to open us up on NXT. And there we go. Oni Lorcan's uh, gimmick coming back. The hardest SOB in NXT. If you guys don't know what that's a reference to, obviously you haven't been watching the series for a while. Look at Dream just catch Oni Lorcan. Holy crap. Holy crap. Just lifted it up. Look at that! Oh, man! Into a suplex. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Oni Lorcan, his gimmick, basically, in NXT right now, is he's the, he's the hardest hitting man, and he can take the hardest hits. So I call him the hardest SOB in NXT. We got the EST of NXT and Bianca Belair. We got the hardest SOB in NXT in Oni Lorcan. But can he defeat Velveteen Dream? We find that out right here, right now. Dream put on the top rope. We got a great show for you tonight. It's going to be a tag team title main event. The Mighty defending or getting their tag team title rematch, I should say, against Red Dragon, Bobby Fish, and Kylo Riley. Oh, look at this. Velveteen Dream roll up. No way. Not another roll up pin. One, two, oh, three. What the heck? He just beat him. That's another roll-up pin win. If you guys didn't see the ending of the last episode, Adam Cole defeated Cassius Ono with a roll-up pin out of nowhere. Now Velveteen Dream just beat Oni Lorcan with a roll-up pin out of nowhere. Velveteen Dream. Wow. Nice. Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh, and Dream stomping away on Oni Lorcan. What the heck? You already beat him. Dream... Apparently, not thinking that the everybody's giving their respect to Oni Lorcan when Velveteen Dream wants the spotlight, and now he puts the spotlight on himself. Dream a little insecure there. Speaking of insecure, Shayna Baszler has been insecure ever since winning the NX or losing the NXT Women's Championship, I should say, uh, in Brooklyn to Mia Yim. And last episode that we saw her on, she defeated Tainara Conti in a complete one-sided beatdown. And she hopes to do the same thing here tonight to Aaliyah. Uh, Mia Yim is still training. She's nursing sort of like a leg injury. She will not be stripped of the championship. She'll be able to defend her championship. But Aaliyah may not be able to defend herself here tonight against Shayna Baszler. Baszler is not in the happiest of moods now. And look at this. Oh, look at that running knee strike. Shades of Daniel Bryan himself, but much, much more vicious. Shayna Baszler. Oh, no. Tossing Aaliyah out of the ring. And Baszler, after the matchup with Tainara Conti last week, attacked Tainara on the outside. And now she's just attacking Aaliyah on the outside. Look at this. Suplex into the barricade. Setting her up in a big boot. This is gonna. I think this is gonna be another squash match. These squash matches are just so painful to watch. Look at this. Oh, right into the barricade on the arm. Aaliyah barely able to stand. If she's smart, she'll stay down. Take the count out loss. Baszler. Oh no, Aaliyah going up to the top rope. This is not smart by Aaliyah. Oh, Aaliyah fighting back. Wow. All right, going back up to to the top. Not smart. Once again, Baszler just stops her. All right. And look at this. Look at this. Baszler going to inflict punishment. Superplex to Aaliyah. Oh, boy. How long has Aaliyah been in NXT? I feel like I've, she's been there since, like, 2015. Look at this. Armbar. Armbar on Aaliyah. Come on. Tap out. Baszler just let go of the armbar. Oh, look at this. Another armbar. Roll through armbar. Look at this. Oh, now she's just toying with Aaliyah. She's just putting on multiple arm bars. Look at this. She's just showcasing how many ways she can defeat an opponent. But the opponent is dumb and doesn't tap out immediately. That's an ankle lock. Two arm bars, an ankle lock. Look at that. She doesn't think she's on her level. 
Look at that. Oh, and a big kick. Aaliyah didn't tap out neither, none of the three times. This has got to be it. Aaliyah, just stay down. There we go. I don't know if Aaliyah chose to stay down or Baszler just kicked her so hard she gave her a concussion. Shayna Baszler defeats Aaliyah in an incredible match. And Shayna Baszler, look at this. There's the women's champion, Mia Yim. Baszler is on a whole nother level. We have got to have a rematch between these two for the NXT Women's title pretty, pretty soon. Otherwise, more and more people on this roster are going to get injured. But thankfully, these two teams here tonight for our main event segue aren't injured. We have the Mighty invoking their rematch clause against Red Dragon for the NXT Tag Team Titles. Look at this! New outfits, new attitude. They look to hope to win the NXT Tag Team Titles back. The Mighty against Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Why is there... Uh, apparently their Titantron needs work. <laughs> I don't know why their Titantron says that. Shut up, don't look. <laughs> but here we go. NXT Tag Team Titles on the line. The Mighty facing off against Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish of Red Dragon. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 450 pounds, Nick Miller and Shane Thorne. TM6. The Mighty. Combined weight of yeah, 397 pounds. They are the NXT Tag Team Champions. Yeah, Red Dragon. And Kyle Wait, what? Did she say... What was that name? I don't think she said Red Dragon. What is this? Apparently TM61 or the Mighty don't know who's going to start off. I guess it's going to be Nick Miller. Shane Thorne wanting to start things off, but Nick Miller decides against it. Apparently trying to keep his bad knee out of the match for right now. Oh, good duck by Nick Miller there in the beginning. Nick Miller looks like he's sort of nursing some sort of arm injury. He's got like arm tape on his elbow. Oh, look at this roll-up pin. Are we really going to have another roll-up pin here tonight? No. There we go. Bobby Fish kicks out. There was no way we were going to have a finish like that in a tag team title match. you got to be kidding me. Oh, man. Bobby Fish getting rocked. I don't know if the beard blocks any of these shots. I would imagine so. Look at that. Big suplex there by Bobby Fish. And Fish with a massive kick to Nick Miller. Trying to break down Nick Miller. Nick Miller is actually the man that got pinned in the tag team title match. Uh, where the Mighty lost the tag titles to Red Dragon. So it's probably why Nick Miller wanted to start off this match so he could prove that he could win back the NXT Tag Team titles for his team. But uh, Nick Miller lost that match after a massive combination of kicks. It was an enziguri and a super kick at the same time. Look at this. Now they're taking out each other's partners. Kyle O'Reilly taking out with a suplex. Bobby Fish taking out Shane Thorne with a neck breaker. And now it's down to the two men in the ring. Oh, snap suplex. You can expect hard, fast-hitting action here in this tag team title match. Nick Miller going to try everything to win back the tag team titles. T-Bone suplex. Shout out to Taz there. Oh, look at this. Into the corner goes Bobby Fish. Clothesline ducked. Bobby Fish. Oh, Fish. Big suplex. And Bobby Fish. Red Dragon working like a well-oiled machine. Fish on the top rope. And Kyle O'Reilly in position. Moonsault by Bobby Fish. Kyle O'Reilly on the top rope now. Knee drop. Double dive combination. Look at this. Shane Thorne breaks up the pinfall. I don't know if he broke up the pin or just punched the ref. The ref is down. Oh, wait. Bobby Fish sees his opening. Fish. Fish has a baseball bat. Oh, no. He's going to Mike Tyson him. Oh, no. Wait. Referee's back up. He can't use it. Oh, big elbow strike to Nick Miller. Oh, Miller. Nice. Very nice. Forearm smash. And thankfully, the referee doesn't call that a disqualification. Kneeling clothesline. You might want to check to make sure there's no, like, metal plate underneath that uh, that bandaged elbow. And look at this. Nick Miller. Oh, trying to get back into this match. Chin lock to Bobby Fish. Oh, Bobby Fish. 
Grabbing the hair of Nick Miller with a jawbuster to break out of it. And Bobby Fish. Ooh, big elbow strike. And a kick. Kneeling, running kick by Bobby Fish. And Fish doesn't see. Tag to Shane Thorne. Shane Thorne is now in the match. Running kick to Bobby Fish. Oh, he's trying to make the tag to Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly knocked off the apron. Shane Thorne is running wild here in this tag team title match. The Mighty look to win back their tag team titles. Running poetry in motion in the corner. And Shane Thorne lining up Bobby Fish for this huge running clothesline from hell. Shout out to JBL. Bam! Clothesline from hell. And the Mighty are on their way to winning back the tag team titles. Wait, what? What's going on? Whose music is that? What is that Titan track? Adam Cole. I guess our production must have like glitched out. Adam Cole is not involved in this tag team title match. I don't know why the heck. Wait, what the hell? Super kick! Adam Cole! What the hell? Running! Running knee! And the referee is wondering why he's in the ring. Are you not putting two and two together? He just need him right in the face! Bobby Fish is stirring back to his feet. See Shane Thorne down. Adam Cole just hit the last shot on Shane Thorne. Two and a th What the hell was that? Adam Cole just helped the end. The, the Red Dragon team, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly retain the tag team titles. Look at this. He had it won. Running clothesline. Adam Cole with a last shot delivered. Bobby Fish is stirring. Obviously, we don't have footage of the freaking running knee itself. Was this what was happening? During the last episode, towards the end, after Adam Cole beat Cassius Ono, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly did like a handshake motion backstage. Was this it? Adam Cole helped... Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly retain the tag team titles. The Undisputed Era. I guess this is their new team name. The Undisputed Era have just sent a shock to the NXT Universe Mode system. What does this mean? For the NXT Universe Mode. Guys, we will find out. But next week, Steel Cage, number one contenders match.